Ensuring safety and efficiency on railroads is crucial. One way we can do this is through track inspections. Hello, my name's Tom Goff, and I've worked in track maintenance for a Class 1 railway for 38 years, and currently work as an independent track inspector, auditor, and railway instructor, helping industrial railways, short lines, and light rail transit operators for over 10 years. I started on the railway at age 16 in a time maintenance crew up in Northern Ontario. Then, in 1978, at 18 years old, I started working in Western Canada for CP, now known as CP Casey. I took a position in Field BC and I managed the track maintenance on the Big Hill, where some of the world's most challenging railroads environments exist. From steep grades to high degree curves, multi-span bridges, spiral tunnels, and treacherous avalanche zones. During my career there, I was also involved in some major projects, like the concrete railway viaduct at the base of Mount Stephen, in addition to the Western Canada Tunnel Height Enlargement Program to accommodate the double stock container trains. During my last 18 years of my career at CP, I was promoted to an instructor where I provided technical and regulatory training across Canada to the engineering services employees and managers. Regular inspections prevent derailments, accidents and delays, ensuring smooth operations and passenger safety. Inspections range from visual checks to advanced technologies like track evaluation cars, embedded track sensors, aerial drones and ultrasonic rail testing. In Canada and the US, track inspection is mandated and depending on tonnage, commodity type, and the track classifications, these inspections may need to be done daily, bi-weekly, weekly, or bi-monthly. In terms of visual inspections, we're typically looking for abnormalities such as loose bolts, spikes, broken or cracked rails, in addition to surface and alignment deviations. Track gauge is one of the most important things to check. Gauge refers to the distance between the inner edges of the two parallel rails that make up the railway track. It is a crucial measurement because it must correspond with the size and type of rolling stock trains, locomotives, etc. that can safely travel on a particular railway network. In North America, the standard gauge measurement is 56 and a half inches or 143.5 centimeters. Maintaining a consistent gauge ensures the trains can travel safely without derailing. If the gauge is too narrow or too wide, it can lead to accidents and derailments, endangering passengers, crew, cargo, and the environment. Standardized track gauge also allows for interoperability between different railway systems. Trains can travel seamlessly across networks that adhere to the same gauge standards without the need for costly and time-consuming gauge-changing procedures. Another important track feature is to inspect the derailer. Derailers play a vital role in maintaining safe railway operations by physically preventing trains or rolling stock from accessing areas where they could pose a risk to themselves, other trains, people, or adjacent railway infrastructure. These are safety devices installed on tracks. They're typically installed at the entrances of sidings, yards, or where commodities are being loaded or unloaded to or from rail cars. Although there are many different types of derails, such as switch point derails, sliding derails, and hinge derails, the most common type is the hinge derail. These can be one-way, left or right hand, or two-way derails. The hinge derail consists of a steel blade or ramp that rests on top of the rail positioned at an angle. The hinge derailers are manually operated by railway personnel, whereas the switch point derail can be activated manually by hand. They can also be automatically activated by remote switch or radio signal system. When a hinge derail is activated, the derail device swings into position across the rail, obstructing the path of any wheels attempting to pass through. When the wheels of the train approach and attempt to pass over the derailer in the closed position, the wheels ride up on the ramp and then the wheel flange makes contact with the angled blade. The angle of the blade forces the wheels to lift and derail, thereby derailing the rail car and thus preventing the train from proceeding further down the track. In addition to visually testing things like the cross level, surface, gauge, alignment, and derailers, heavily weighted track evaluation cars test the track geometry under load. These inspection cars are equipped with sensors and cameras that are used to provide detailed data of the track conditions. In addition to checking the overall condition of the track, inspectors also use ultrasonic testing to identify hidden defects within the steel rails and ensure structural integrity. Data collected on track conditions and internal rail testing is analyzed to assess the track health, enabling timely maintenance decisions. Maintenance crews perform repairs based on inspection results, ensuring safe and reliable rail operations. Regular track inspection is the backbone of safe and efficient rail travel.